Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to be editing one of your photographs from the Photos in Color community in Lightroom. Theme tune. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so I'm pretty dizzy. So I get asked all the time how I would edit a certain photograph. So I'm gonna start doing edits on your photographs once a week. So if you want to send in your photograph, just go to um, our Facebook page. So that's facebook.com forward slash photos in color and just post your image and each week I'll select one and make an edit at your request. So this week we have a photograph sent in by Ross Henty um, and he was asking how I would do an edit on this airplane. It's an F-15 I believe. I don't really know much about airplanes. But anyway, let's jump into Lightroom and see what I would do to this image. So here we go. This is the image that he sent in. It's a, as I say, it's a F-15. So let's have a quick look at the image. First of all, we have some issues here. It looks like he's got some either dust on his sensor, or there were birds, I think it's on his sensor. Uh, the image is really well exposed, but it lacks a little bit of focus. So first of all, what I would do is I would fix these issues. So I'd go up here and I'd select the healing brush tool and I would literally come in here and I would shrink it, I would make it about the right size and I'd just click on it and it would fix that for me. And I'd fix this area here too. Let's come out of that. They're both fixed. I'm kind of happy with that. The next thing that I would do is I'd want to play around in this section and, and see what we can do. So the exposure, I'm happy. I'm gonna boost the contrast a little tiny bit here just to lift it all out around here. Now the highlights, I'm gonna pull back. The reason why I wanna pull the highlights back is it's gonna give me something in the shadows here, in the cloud, sorry. But I want to lift this area, which is the main problem area, because it's really dark in the back. So for this, we're gonna lift the shadows. Okay, but I don't want to lift them too much so we can see this because then we've ruined the rest of the image. We'll do something else with that later. So we'll lift it slightly like so. And I'm going to lift the whites just to make it a little bit more exciting. So this is starting to look great. Okay, so let's come into this problem area. It's too dark, I think, and there's some great detail in there. So for this, I'm going to take the brush tool and I'm going to reset this by double clicking effect. And what that does is it resets the whole thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shadows and I'm going to lift them up. Now I can take them all the way up for now so I can see what I'm doing. Make my brush smaller, okay? Medium flow and a lot of feathering. And let's just literally paint that in and paint that in. And let's look at the before and after, okay? starting to really look great. We've got a little bit too bright on there. I'm gonna just make those a little bit wider. Starting to look great, but I think it, we've, we've lost a little bit. So I'm gonna bring the shadows back and I'm actually gonna reduce the contrast. Okay, reducing the contrast can help a lot as well. Reduce the contrast and that looks great. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the haze. Okay. So by doing that, it's actually gonna get rid of some of those white tones just a little bit. Okay, so we're starting to bring something in. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add some definition to it, but I don't want to do it through sharpening. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm gonna hit new brush, I'm going to do some dodging and burning. So again, double click the effects to reset everything. So let's start off with the highlights. So highlights, we're gonna boost the highlights up. Now I'm gonna put this at 100% so that I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to make my feathering fairly high, but my flow, I'm going to turn down, okay? To about 20, okay? 23, I think I'm on there. And what I'm going to do is basically wherever there's a highlight, I'm just gonna start painting, okay? Really simple. Now, if you do this in Photoshop, you'll know exactly what this is doing. But I'm gonna go around here, and I'm not being too neat and tidy about this, but I am changing the brush size all the time, and we're going over areas. So if it's really light, I'll go over it more and more. Okay, as you can see, I just did there. I'm just gonna build this up. And basically I'm building up this highlight area. Okay, so let me just whip around here. I'm gonna do under here, cause this is, I don't wanna miss out these kind of more exciting areas of this plane. And let's do all the way over here. There's a hot spot on the side. So let's really lift all of that. 
and then on the wing here. And then what you can actually do is add some little flex where there's a little bit of highlight, just boost it, really pull it out. Don't be afraid when doing this. It doesn't take too long, okay? I kind of like what, what's happened here, especially because this is metal, so it wants to be reflective. Now what I'm going to do, okay, that's good. Let me just see what happens the before and after now of the image. So you can see it's just started lifting up these highlights and everything. Now I'm actually gonna bring back the highlights and I'm gonna lift up the whites. That has a greater effect. So just here is great. I'm gonna do the same thing with the shadows. So new, I'm gonna reset by double clicking effect. I'm gonna take my shadows all the way down and the blacks off just a little bit too. So again, what we're gonna do, nice soft brush, is now we're just gonna draw wherever there is a shadow, okay? Now we don't wanna go over the top with this. We never want to overdo it because you can very quickly ruin what was already a really nice photograph. But what you do want to do is kind of just give it that extra level of definition. And you can see, I'm not being particularly accurate with this, and I also want to do it at speed so that you guys don't get bored with my actual editing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that right there. Okay, let's look at the before and the after. So you can see I've already lifted the back and I've already given the plane that extra bit of definition and lift. And if I wanted to multiply that, I can just right click here and hit duplicate. And all that's gonna do, see I've now made that effect Okay, I've doubled up on both of those now. I've actually ruined the image by doing that, so I'll take one of these and I'll delete it. The highlights, however, I didn't mind. I'm just gonna pull it back a little bit. So let's come out of the brush. Now we're starting to get there. But what we're lacking is some focus and some color and some energy. So for this, I'm gonna do two things. First of all, I'm gonna take the radial brush and the light's coming from the side here. So I'm actually going to do a nice large circle, like so making sure that my feathering is fairly high on this. And what I'm actually going to do, it's gonna be kind of the glare from the sun. So let's, um, I've got all these shadows knocking down and blacks and things from my last brush. So let's bring those back to about center. We're gonna lift this so it's nice and yellow and I'm gonna throw in a little bit of an orange tone in there. Now you might think, well, that's ruined the image because <laughs> it's quite extreme. Now it's true, it, it is extreme. I'm gonna boost the brightness as well, okay? But if we were to take it over a little bit more like this, and let's boost the feathering, and I'm gonna take the yellow out just a little bit, okay? Starting to look great. Then we're gonna add another one, okay? From the top up here, and let's reset this. And this we're gonna really add in more of a hot spot, okay? So this actually gives it direction. I'm, I'm essentially building layers, okay? So now we have more of a hot spot that's coming in from this top side, which essentially is giving this effect of there being some kind of a sun or a light over there. Um, somewhere like this is gonna look great. But to really make this effect work, I'm going to use this here, which is the um, graduated filter. And I'm gonna add in a filter coming across this way and gonna make that a little bit pink and purple. Oh, let's just reset before we do this. A little pink to this. So this is what's adding this bit of color to make it a little bit exciting, okay? Then from the back, we're gonna add a little bit of blue. So we're gonna do essentially the opposite. And what this does is it allows, it's moving in space. This is moving fast. So you want it to come from something and go towards something else. That's what's really important with an image like this. So that's, I've actually darkened it off a little bit down here. So we're moving somewhere. I want to come back into the radial filter. This one, I don't like my coloring on it at all. I'm gonna make it more yellow um, for sure, because that's the reflection over this side. Okay, that looks a lot better. Now, the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna drop down here and my skies, okay? So the skies, I'm going to take the blue and I'm gonna pull it back and same as the green. And I'm gonna lift up the saturation over here as well, okay? Starts to look great. I want to take this one. I've made that a little too dark, actually. I'm gonna do the opposite. That looks better. So now this is starting to look good. The, the next thing I want to do is now I'm gonna actually add exposure 
okay? And I'm gonna add like a beam of light that this plane is flying through, okay? So the direction of the plane, I'm just gonna draw a line, okay? And it, all it's doing is lifting this exposure. I'm gonna draw it multiple times, okay? Let's have a quick look. So you can see, now you might think, well that's, again, it's too much, okay? But what we're gonna do, so that's starting to give that little bit of an effect on there. Okay, and then we're gonna hit new. Nope, we're not, sorry. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna hit, um, where are we? Oh, sorry, erase just here and flow. We're gonna keep that fairly high. And what we're going to do is we're actually gonna erase it over the plane and we're gonna erase it down these sides here. Okay, so what this again has done is it's given this heavy focus, so it's actually flying into something. I'm gonna pull it back just a hair, like so. Okay, so now the next thing I would like to do is come into the curves, okay? And for this, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a filmic effect. The reason for this is that's gonna ruin it, I think, too much, but just a hair like this. And then I'm gonna come into my reds, and in my highlights, I want to boost the reds because I've, I've added that sun effect, okay? Just a tiny bit. And in my shadows, I'm going to add a tiny little bit of blues, like so. Okay, so let's come out of this. And then clarity, I am gonna lift the clarity of this. So it's gonna just add some of that contrast back in that we've lost. Let's look at the before and the after. I think this image is now starting to look amazing. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna boost up my sharpening just here. Now, by hitting, uh, sorry, by hitting option, okay, I can look at the masking of this. So hit option or alt on a, a PC, and then you scroll up the masking, you're gonna see what it's gonna affect. I wanna get this fairly high. I don't want to affect the sky. I don't want to affect the edges like so, so we've just sharpened that area. The final thing we're going to do, we are gonna take the brush, we are gonna reset it, we're gonna pull back the highlights like so, and the reason for that, and we're gonna boost the clarity and the sharpness, and the reason for that is we're gonna whip around here, and you can see what we're gonna do here. We're basically just bringing back some of this in the clouds. You can see that the clouds start to come alive when we do this, okay? That now looks fantastic. So let's finish right there. This is the before, great, really well composed image and actually really, really well done. But what we've done is added a little bit of excitement to it, some color, it's flying into something and away from something else. It's now got some motion, some excitement. And I think I would probably leave it just there. So if you liked what I did here with the edit, or maybe you didn't like it, please leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up and definitely sub subscribe to the channel. If you've got a photograph that you'd like to see me edit and what I would do with it, please send it over and I will do an edit for you. I'll select one a week. And definitely send in some photographs that you're having issues with. So maybe you've got the exposure incorrect or something like this. And I can show you how you can fix this in Lightroom. My name's Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Thank you.